So this was the 13th meal that I got shipped to me from Blue Apron. It is the third meal I actually have cooked, which is the for four people instead of two. So if you notice that there's a little bit more ingredients here, uh, that is not just your imagination. I'm cooking bigger meals now. Uh, we're cooking the baby bok choy here, baby bok choy being an ingredient and not my wrapper name, and uh, just making our way through that. I did, in this case, discard the entire stem. They didn't have me kind of cook those separately like they have before. Um, so a little bit less, uh, more food waste from this one. Uh, you can also see I'm chopping up some radishes here. First time I cook with radishes from Blue Apron. Uh, and I'm getting a little bit better at doing the kind of keeping the knife in one place and chopping through something. Um, still not great with my holding technique, but I haven't cut myself yet, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, and still cutting too far forward on the knife, but mostly that's just because I need to get my knife sharpened. Uh, scallions this time, uh, chopping off again the tails there that are roots um, and just chopping those. One thing about those is I didn't know exactly where root ended and not root began uh, so I think I ended up pulling out a couple of pieces there that were I ended up thinking were root later um, pulling out now the seasoning and spices to go on this radish kind of dressing that's going to go on top uh, the sesame oil gave me a lot of trouble getting that out of there but uh, kind of mix that in and you've got the scallions and the radishes those are just going to be a topper for the meal eventually um, we're going to cook the Asian style aromatics here uh, I actually have no idea what was in this kind of goop but it was the primary seasoning for the ground beef that we're about to toss in here in a minute and ended up smelling really great. So I expect it had some kind of seasoning stuff in it because that's basically what you'd expect. Um, so tossing in the ground beef here, nothing special. This meal was actually very simple to cook. Uh, you know, the longest thing to it was probably the browning of the ground beef. You can see I tossed a little bit of pepper, 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 and salt there and just finished up the cooking of that rice that was in the background that I tossed on before the recording started. So uh, rice took about 14 minutes to cook, total end to end time of this meal until I had food on the plate was about 22 minutes, so not too bad. You can see here the Gua Chuang mayo. Um, it's just, uh, you know, mayo with a little bit of spice mixed in there because I like spice and my daughter doesn't. That does mean that um, I ended up putting that on mine and not on hers, which was fine. She just likes simple tastes, so I just try and, you know, keep things a little bit less spicy for her, and it worked out fine here because they actually had it separated. Um, next step is going to be definitely draining out this uh, ground beef because there's more ground beef I'm getting a little bit more oil with these four person dishes than I did with the two person dishes uh, so we got that in there we've got some sugar uh, as well as some sesame um sorry, soy sauce, uh, and tossing in the bok choy as our, uh, you know, having that cooked down a little bit in this meal. Uh, tasting there to make sure I've got enough salt and pepper, and I think I decided that I do. Uh, so we'll toss in a little bit of the rice, toss in a little bit of the beef and bok choy, top it with the scallion and radishes, uh, and then I will go ahead and go back and finish that off with the guachong mayo. And so that was the uh, Korean style beef with guachong mayo with jasmine rice and bok choy. Thanks for watching.